Hello guys, Reagan here and I am joined by Alex of Jay Walker. Hi. We've got Wes Cabuncal of Bearing PH Motoring. Hello. And we have James Tagle of Auto Haven. What's up guys? And right now guys, we are driving in the newest and most exciting compact crossover from Shang'an, Philippines, the CS55 Plus Lux. Now guys, we're four big dudes inside this crossover and we're on our way now going up to Cannon Road to Baguio City to answer the ultimate question that most of you guys always ask in my comments, in my videos. Uh, can this crossover climb up a mountain city like Baguio? Well guys, stick around to find out. Let's do this. One of the most asked questions in my videos is if a car can go up a mountain city like Baguio. Does it have enough power to climb steep inclines? It's a question that Shang'an Philippines answered in the literal sense using their newest compact crossover, the CS55 Plus Lux. Heck, they even put four of us inside the car along with all of our luggage just to prove that the CS55 Plus Lux has ample power to go up Baguio's steep roads. The top spec CS55 Plus Lux retails for 1,373,000 Philippine pesos, and in this video, we get to find out more about it. Let's do this. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. All right guys, so right now, I'm behind the wheel of the Shang'an CS55 Plus Lux. This is the top spec model, guys. But uh, throughout the highway drive going here from Manila, uh, I was seated at the passenger seat with Alex and it was, it was uh, Wes and uh, James who were driving this vehicle uh, uh, coming here. Now, being a passenger, I could already tell you that on the highway, the CS55 Plus Lux is so smooth considering that it has 19-inch alloy wheels. It, it is so smooth, uh, it's refined in the back seat. And I was just uh, tinkering around with my, with my smartphone and I didn't get dizzy at all. So yeah, initial impressions for the passenger comfort in the back seat, thumbs up for me guys. Now as for the drive itself guys, well, even if I'm behind the wheel now, well, I haven't really had the chance to really ring it out. But dude, I got really excited when I saw the power figures of this CS55 Plus Lux. You see, it has a 1.5 liter turbocharged four-cylinder petrol engine that puts out, get this, 185 horsepower and 300 Newton meters of torque. Let me demonstrate guys, I'm going to do a little bit of an overtake here. Awesome. Yeah. You know, we got a good amount of power here and uh, the power is put down to the front wheels via a 7-speed wet type dual clutch transmission. Now I'm going to ask the, the gentleman at the back uh, what they think about the, the, you know, the power of this vehicle. Um, James. Yes, sir. Pare, you drove this on the highway. Uh -huh. What can you say about the, well, the power of this CS55 Plus Lux? Cruising speed, it's amazing. It's so comfortable. Mm -hmm. Plus, it's soft. The suspension is soft. Though, uh, power is pretty. Uh, I don't know. It's enough. Yeah. It's enough considering. I mean, there's four of us inside yeah. the car. Yeah. Plus, it's it's a it's it's a bit on the heavy side, not the car. Yeah. Yeah. Plus four of us, pa. But yes. Well, still, you know, you get enough power to overtake some so slow people. <laughs> Some slow people. Yeah, you know, this thing has a curb weight of around 1800 kilos, so it's one of the heavier compact crossovers out there. But you could feel that weight in a positive way because it feels so stable even at highway speeds. Mm, right, it cruises very easily. Yeah, diba, dude. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, Wes kind of tried it out a little bit on the highway, a little bit <laughs> over the, the Just speed. a tad That's bit. Had it over the speed limit, yeah, just for you know, for experimentation's sake. And uh, did it perform, dude? Oh, it did very well. 
Awesome, yeah. awesome. It, it sits comfortably at that speed. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> at toot speeds. <laughs> at toot speeds. <laughs> You know the power figures of this uh, Shang'an CS55 Plus <coughs> at 185 horses and 300 Newton meters of torque. It makes it currently the most powerful compact crossover for below 1.5 million Philippine pesos. It now takes that crown. Uh, it, that used to belong to another uh, Chinese car maker, but now with this, dude, it's the most powerful. And you could really feel it. Now, in terms of the steering feel, well, when uh, James and Wes were driving this on the highway, they were all, they were already commenting how the steering feel was so good. Diba guys? Yes. Yep, yep. Yeah, and you know, I will concur. I will concur, guys. The steering feel, I'm now on the twisties. Uh, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Somebody give uh, Jay Walker a glass of bottle water. <laughs> anyway. Bro. Yeah, there. Have a drink, man. Guys. As I'm saying, yeah, the steering feel, I agree with these two gentlemen at the back. It is nice and hefty, just, it's just right. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. You have some pretty good uh, feedback coming from the road even. So the fact that we have an electric power assist system here and you're still, you're getting some feedback and you, ha you have an idea where your wheels are pointing. Yeah, that speaks a lot about the tuning on the steering that uh, Shang'an did for this vehicle. Now, in terms of the handling of the car, well, we are on a narrow, twisty road here. And if you're driving sensibly, it handles pretty well. Although there is a tad bit of uh, well, body roll, which you could expect from any uh, value compact crossover. And uh, yeah, but otherwise, handling is good. Suspension, we've got an independent uh, multi-link rear suspension here and a MacPherson front suspension and uh, yes it absorbs the bumps pretty well it uh, allows me to take corners at a regular speed because there's a lot of slow pokes in front of me so I couldn't really take corners at speed yeah, which is which is better because this is not Marcos Highway this is Cannon Road <laughs> you have to be careful here Shang'an's newest models have a futuristic look to them and the same can be said for this all-new CS55 Plus Lux. It has that, uh, that same look as the Shang'an Uni K mainly because of this gorgeous well, front grille here and uh, the full LED lighting units. Now this, my friends, is definitely a head-turner and I say that in a good way. Here on the side, the CS55 Plus Lux gets these gorgeous 19-inch alloy wheels here, which is a step up from the competition. Of course, it also gets niceties like a panoramic sunroof, power folding side mirrors with LED turn signals, and premium mechanical bits. See, behind the wheels of the CS55 Plus Lux, we get four-wheel disc brakes, and for the suspension, we have a MacPherson front suspension and an independent multi-link rear suspension. Now the ground clearance of the CS55 Plus Lux is a little bit on the low and sleek side because it's just at 171 millimeters. So it's best for you to keep your CS55 Plus Lux on paved roads. Now when you hop inside the cabin of the CS55 Plus Lux, I mean you'll see that dude, this is a freaking well-appointed and well-designed cabin. I mean, I thought I've already seen it all in the value compact crossover segment, but man, this place blows me away. You see, you get leather seats here. You get leather on your door panels, on the, on the dashboard. You've got some nice textures on the middle dashboard here, and even some ambient lighting. And dude, check out the steering wheel. Man, this is crazy. This is a really unique looking leather wrap steering wheel here of course it also tilts and it also telescopes but this is one of the smallest wheels if, if not the smallest wheel that i've seen in the value compact crossover segment and it has this nice f1 shape to it and it just feels so good in the hands now this is on the tiny side and because it's small, well, you're, you got your fully digital instrument gauge cluster mounted up top like a heads-up display. You know, it's like a heads-up display. And guys, I gotta tell you, it freaking works. It 
freaking works. I mean, this is the most natural uh, for me, natural, yeah, steering wheel position. And I do hope that the other car makers uh, will make something like this. I mean, this actually, yeah, it calls to mind one of the European car makers who also has a pretty similar steering wheel to this. Aside from that, we also have a wireless charging pad there. And if you check out the switch gear of this vehicle, uh, you'll see that we've got full metal switch gear for your, yeah, for your window switches, for your electronic park brake. I mean, everything here has been thoughtfully designed. Uh, but how about the tech? How about the safety features? Well, let's go for a drive to talk about that. Now as for the tech, well, <laughs> dude, this will wow you. It will wow you. Right now, I have a 10.25 inch gauge display in front of me and it's showing me a good display of uh, the road because we've got ADAS here, guys. Now, as beside that, we have a 12.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system which now comes with Apple CarPlay uh, but unfortunately it's only just mirror link for Android Auto users such as myself. Uh, we also have a six speaker Pioneer uh, setup here which we got to test out and uh, yeah, it's pretty decent. It's okay. It's okay. And nothing to write home about but at least it says Pioneer on the speaker <laughs> grill. Uh, it also has a 360 degree view camera image here and it also has a drive recorder so you don't really need to get a dash cam anymore uh, for your CS55 Plus Lux. Now when it comes to the safety bits, well, Shangan Philippines is proud of the advanced driver assist systems that can be found here in the top spec Shangan CS55 Plus Lux. You see, as you're seeing on your screen, guys, well, we do get a good bunch of safety features here. It even has a traffic jam assist, which is a complement to your adaptive cruise control, which should make it so convenient for you to drive when you're stuck in traffic, like uh, what we have right now. I don't think this is traffic. I think this is just a one-way road. And we also have a voice command system here for, for operating your air conditioning, opening and closing your windows, your sunroof, and even to answer calls. Now, Shang'an still decided to give the CS55 Plus Lux a pair of, well, uh, faux exhaust pipes here on the rear bumper, which I'm not really too fond of. But uh, given that this is now the most powerful value compact crossover in the segment, well, I guess I can forgive that. Now, what I do like, though, is the fact that we get a power lift gate here. And when you pop this lift gate open, you'll see that we have 475 liters of trunk space here, which is one of the larger ones in the category. In fact, this, my friends, is decent enough for the stuff of four big men on this trip. And we can still take home a bunch of ubi jam as pasalubong. So, the Shang'an CS55 Plus Lux managed to ferry the four of us around Baguio City in comfort and style. The turbocharged petrol engine had more than enough go to negotiate steep roads, which means that the four of us don't really need to go on a diet. It had all the safety features and driver assist aids that put us at ease during the entire drive and not to mention the futuristic good looks that made bystanders and other drivers look at us. While I may need more time with the CS55 Plus Lux to truly get to know it, our Baguio weekend trip already tells me that the Shang'an CS55 Plus Lux is a solid option in the value compact crossover arena. Thanks for watching.